rehearsal again. Um, we are in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Diagon Alley because uh, -da, we finally have vegan options here. Um, we are going to try and eat lunch at the Leaky Cauldron. There's two options. vegan options there. Um, the pasty yep. and the stew. stew. There's a stew. So um, we're really excited because we've literally never eaten anywhere in the Wizarding World because no. they've never had anything vegan. So we can finally do the full wizard experience. Not just drink. Yes. We're gonna well, eat food too. We will drink too though. Well, I mean typically. <laughs> I'm say this salad is sad. They give you half of a tomato, which I cut, but and then it came with a dre uh, unknown dressing. So I probably won't eat that. And then it comes with, let's see. It's got, I mean, it's a pretty big sandwich. Let me go in here. Five pieces of the beef tips and this carrot and potato. So get. I think it cooks really well. It's very Thanksgiving tasting to me, uh, but it's good. Everything's cooked well. Good texture, some onion in it too. Uh, I'll come back and get this. You got drippage going. Thanksgiving. For sure. Tasty. So this is the inside of the bad boy. It's got beef crumbles and like a vegetable stew in it. Um, so it's like carrots and peas and stuff. And then it comes with a um, mustard dipping sauce. So I'm gonna give that a try. <laughs> the mustard's really good. It has like a good flavor. The inside's not very like texture heavy, um, but the actual like pastry part of it's really good. It's got like, it's super fluffy and light. Um, they do have like a smaller version of this outside that you can get to now, um, but I want to try the big boy first, but I'm going to try it without the sauce first. I'll spoon it down towards the end. It's really good, but I don't know if it's something I would want on like a super hot Orlando day. Um, you also get some beets, so let's try the beets. They don't taste like um, earthy beets, but they do at the same time. They're more on like the sweet side. If you have to like beets for that, for sure. And then you also get little wedge potatoes. So I'm gonna dip mine in the mustard because I love mustard. This is really good. This is a solid meal. Let me full from this for sure. That mustard's really good, like that. I mean, my own half. That's how it looks. It's good. So, try to dip it in. That's my sandwich. Why? I eat like one fourth of my. I eat three fourths of my sandwich. Alex. 
I'm impressed by this. This is really good. Great with the mustard. The mustard, nice touch to it. The actual like phyllo dough, super light and crispy. But the actual inside, like Melissa said, not too much texture going on, but that's fine. This is really good. I would come back for this over the stew for sure. This is good. So I am gonna try the stew. Um, Texture-wise, it looks like it's gonna be slimy, but you didn't say anything about it being slimy, so I think it'll be okay. Try some of this first. Is it the rosemary or the thyme? That like Thanksgiving. It's definitely like a hearty Thanksgiving situation. It's very, it is very Thanksgiving. <laughs> I wish there was more of the beef tips or even if it was like cut like they were cut in like half or something because the flavor of that with all of this is better than just like just the potatoes and stuff um, but it really does taste like Thanksgiving. I am curious about the bread with it. When you do please leave your dishes and take care of them. We got it. Thank you. All right. Dip this bad boy. The bread's a little dry, but definitely the, the stew helps that situation. No. Yeah. It is, it is, yeah. But I did like the, the two together is really good. Um, I'm going to try the salad. We think it's like a lemon vinaigrette. For the dressing is what Corey said, so. I think it's that. Yeah. That's how you said. Yeah. Super light. I don't know what's going on with this, but. This is good though. This is, I'm very happy with this meal. So, very good. So, we finished our lunch at the Leaky Cauldron. Um, we were both talking when we were in there. It was really fun to have an experience at a theme park that was like so new to both of us. Because we'd never been in there. Yeah. Like, at all. That was uh, cool. So it was really cool to be in there and like see it and like look around and I was like, oh my god, this is exactly like in the movie. So I, I fangirled a little bit while we were in there. But, um, so that was cool. The food was really good. Yes. Um, we both agree that we would definitely get the pasty, um, the shepherd pasty pie over the stew again because we love mustard. Also the stew and the yeah. hot weather. Yes, yes. That's definitely, I would come back. Like, I, in the up, winter. Straight up Thanksgiving. It's yeah. Like one, yeah. yeah. So, December, maybe November. Excuse me, it's so hot. Um, in the cooler time here, I would definitely get that. Oh, absolutely. The high, like, in the 60s. Like, yes. Oh, I'll get this yeah. too. Yeah. It was delicious. That, the first bite oh, no. is overwhelmingly Thanksgiving tasting. It's like the, sage, rosemary, rosemary thyme. Yeah. Like, that's really, like, all you can taste at all. First bite. Yeah, right. and you kind of get used to it. But the yeah. first bite is super overwhelming. The beef tips help a lot, but you only get five, which you know they're just like flopping them on after they put the stew in there. Yeah. So I w wish they would either maybe cut them in half or throw like a couple, maybe doubled up. Give me ten beef tips. Yeah, because it was the bites with the beef tips were really good. My thing with like stews like that and like pot pies in general. Um, is I always feel like they're really slimy. It, they, it looks slimy. And it looks slimy, so I was really nervous. He, he didn't say anything about being slimy when he ate it, so I was like, okay, cool, should be good to go. We were. It wasn't slimy at all. It just looked slimy. Um, it's better than it looks. <laughs> but yeah, like the more I ate it, I was like, wow, okay, I really like this, but I don't like it as much as I like the pasty. The pasty, the pasty was awesome. very good. It was very good. I would absolutely get that again. I would be super full if I just ate that by myself. Um, it was huge. I, we didn't eat a lot of the stew because neither of us really loved it. And it's not that like we didn't like it. I just it's hot, so I don't really want to eat super like hearty hot food like that for me personally. Um, yeah. But yeah, the pasty with like the mustard. So the good. mustard made it yes. for sure. Um, the beets were good. You you felt like they weren't very earthy, but I definitely feel like if you aren't a beet like person, pickled. yeah. If you're not a beet person though, like you're not gonna like them. But you just get like, that little bit of them, so it's not like it's like ruins your meal. 
Give me more fries. Yeah. Fried for us. So yeah, the wedge fries were really good. Everything was really good. We really liked it. Well, my camera died. So here we are. Um, but I was trying to say is that you can still get all the same drinks um, that you can get at Hogshead. And yeah. um, I cannot remember what the name of that. The, other the hopping pot. The hopping pot. Um, so we got our fire whiskey and ciders. You can still get all the beers. You can get um, tongue tying lemon squash. You can get like the, pumpkin. the pumpkin one. Um, I would say butter beer, but it's not vegan, so we don't care about that. But you can get that. You can get that if you want it, if you're not vegan and you watch us. Um, but yeah, so it was really good. We really enjoyed it. Out of the two options, get the tasty. Yes, yes. If you, yeah. down. Yes. I Out of come, two. I would come back and just get that. We will absolutely be yeah. back to eat that because it was very good. Thanks for watching. Thank you.